What is up guys? Uh, we just went to the grocery store, but in this video, I'm actually gonna go to the laptop, go inside the apartment. We're gonna talk about seven products you can literally start drop shipping tomorrow. And like the premise of the video guys, I don't want you guys just to look at these seven products and then like immediately replicate them, because you can, but the thing is like there's gonna be a lot of people watching this video, but I want you guys to understand kind of like the methodology and like the sort of the niches that we look into and then kind of like think outside of the box and hopefully draw a few products that you guys can start selling tomorrow, all right? So we're gonna go um, hop on the laptop, all right? Let's go. <laughs> All right guys, so we are now back in the apartment. I'm gonna walk you guys through um, basically seven, well I think there's a little bit more than seven actually that I've kind of sourced for you guys, um, that you guys can actually go ahead and literally start selling tomorrow. Um, but the main point I wanna get across the video, right, it's not just the products, right? Because the people are watching purely just for a product to sell. Like, you'll get your product, you'll be able to sell it, you'll be able to make some money if you know how to brand and market it correctly. But the real the real winners that, that are gonna take away from this video, right, are just how you kind of brand it, how you kind of angle things, and how I go about like the process I go about and sort of thinking what to sell, okay? Because again, this it's very, very popular things that you can sell, but if you get a little creative and just kind of sidestep a product, and what I mean by that is, you know, there's a very popular product in an industry. Now you can find a product in that same industry that's still selling, it's just not as popular, and capitalize on that and make a lot of money, okay guys? So again, that's just the key to it, is kind of just figuring out how to kind of go about selling a particular product and branding that um, a specific way, okay? So the very first thing that I want to talk about actually is, well actually first let me start, let me start this screen share. You guys can't even see my screen yet. There we go. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about, guys, is a keto diet, all right? Now again, this, I mean, really, so first of all, we're on Google Trends, okay? I've typed in keto diet, and we can see that there's a very, very large, you know, interest gain, right, over the past two years, right? So anything before that's kind of stayed relatively um, non-existent, okay? But over the last two years, it's picked up traction. Now, even just the regular search term, just, regular, just the word keto, all right, same thing. Okay, it's starting to pick up traction. Now, our first guess, right, is, hey, what can we sell, you know, what does AliExpress have for, you know, a keto diet customer, right? So we go here, and we're looking, and it's just t-shirts. Now, even if we sort by orders just to see, hey, you know, what are other people buying, what are, you know, other customers on AliExpress buying, we'll see that there's, there's really no one buying these t-shirts, okay? So that's not something. So, like, again, we validated that, hey, the keto diet, the keto industry, okay, is uh, an interest-gaining industry, right? That there's more and more people kind of, um, searching that, right? Or getting into it. Now, how can we capitalize on it? Now, most people, again, they're just gonna see this and be like, oh, okay, there's nothing new. So now, now we're trying to vet the back end of things, right? Like, what actual products can we find that, that we can do? So, if you guys, again, get a little creative, you can just type in diet, okay? So again, it's what is the keto diet? Now, the keto diet, it, it, I'm, I don't know exactly, um, you know, the, the exact definition of it, but I know it's basically forcing your body to burn fats um, instead of carbohydrates or something along those lines. Um, but guys, if we get creative with it, guys, so again, if we just type in diet, okay, and then sort by orders on AliExpress, you'll see, hey, look, this has 14,244 um, orders in, you know, the last six months. Um, that's a lot more than, you know, four orders for a keto diet t-shirt, okay? So what can we do? How can we actually sell this to keto diet interested people? Again, if we know a little bit about the industry, okay, like, hey, for, for again, like, again, I literally don't know much at all about the keto industry. So again, if I'm like, if I'm wrong, um, then I'm wrong. But we're gonna take this as like an example use case, right? So the keto diet is focused on burning fat instead of carbohydrates, okay? Again, like you eat a bunch of stuff, um, you know, relative to the diet and everything, but that's like, in essence, if that's what it is and that's what it is. So if you're gonna market it towards people that are interested in that, right? You can market to people saying, hey, you know, are you not having the results you're wanting with your keto diet? You can, you know, for example, if we're using a, I don't know what this is, like a slimming patch, um, that's supposed to make you slim again like anything that helps someone lose fat okay um, or lose body fat right on aliexpress you could brand that just towards keto people and market it just towards keto people and make a lot of money doing that okay guys so it's, it's really how you angle a particular product okay you could even whatever these slimming patches are right you could even brand it saying like hey are you having trouble you know losing body fat with your keto diet um, get these slimming patches in conjunction with whatever you're doing to speed up the process. You know, there's a lot of ways you guys can market this um, to, to sort of capitalize off of this interest gain that we're literally seeing in Google Trends and you know making making money from it, like profiting from from the industry, um, from more people joining right, joining the industry. Okay. Now the next one I talk about right is it's currently nearing the end of September while I'm recording this video. What is coming up? A lot of people are gonna say Halloween. Yes, Halloween's coming up, but in my experience, it's a little too late to make a Halloween store, okay? 
especially if you're gonna go around the way that I do it, which is hey, branding, content, um, you know, building up, um, you know, popular like a, like a social media platform that you can reach customers with. Um, it's a lot harder to do that when hey, Halloween is literally in like basically a month, right? A month in like a week or so, right? So what I would do is actually plan for Christmas, okay? Now some people may be like, oh, that's too far out, blah blah. blah. It's really not, and I'm gonna show you guys um, with again Google Trends to source this. So for example. If we just type in Christmas, okay, just the search in Christmas. First of all, I mean, we'll see that okay, it's it's a it's a trend. Um, but we'll also start to see, right? If we move to to the past twelve months, this is today, right? September. Well, I think it's the twentieth or something. But um, this is where we're at, okay? And it's literally just starting to pick up. So if you were to try and make a store, get product samples, get content, right? Like now is the time to start doing that just to like, just to even barely hop on that Christmas train and start cashing out when everyone's buying Christmas gifts, okay? Now it's like, okay, what do we do? Um, you know, what can I sell in the Christmas industry? Well, again, we'll do a very, very broad AliExpress search by just typing in Christmas, okay? And just to see what we get, because again, we're just gonna look and see what what it is, get a sort, get a, get a sort of an idea of what people have been buying. Um, again, this is the last six months, so it's not even last Christmas, okay? So we're just getting an idea of what people are buying, like currently and starting to buy, which could be again something that you guys can capitalize on and start start selling, right? So again, it, just doing a very quick scroll, guys. We notice a lot of this stuff is just like sort of like knickknack items um, that you can capitalize on, because again, um, with AliExpress and like with these really cheap cheap items, guys, you can you can make purely a Christmas, you know, small toys gift shop sort of thing um, and brand these products. Like again, 82 cents um, a pack. I wouldn't do something in packs unless you're gonna sell it as a bundle. Um, but you see like, oh, per piece, you know, per item, whatever that is, you can sell those and market it up just a little bit higher. Again, I wouldn't try and, you know, sell this for like $30, but if you brand it right, you could probably sell this for 20 pretty easily, even like 15 for sure. But Guys, it's just how you sort of brand it. So again, next product on the list, right? So we already went over the keto stuff, the diet stuff. You brand it properly, you can do that. Um, now the next one is just like Christmas knickknacks. So again, guys, you guys can get creative. You guys can sell. You know, um, again, it's just how you switch up the product. So if I'm telling you Christmas knickknacks, right? A lot of people might go straight to Christmas knickknacks and start selling that. Okay, but again, just Christmas in general is the trend. Okay, so anything that kind of carries on with that bandwagon of the Christmas interest, you guys can capitalize on if that, if that makes sense. Because that's what I really want you guys to understand. So it's not necessarily about, oh, these are the products you guys can start selling to make a lot of money, right? Like the product itself can make you money, but actually capitalizing on the trend and finding something that not every other dropshipper is trying to sell is where you'll actually make a lot of money. Okay, guys? Now, the next one I want to do again. So we talked about Christmas. Christmas is in the winter. What happens in winter? Snow, snow happens, okay? So a lot we can do with that. Um, the first one I wanna show you guys, for example, is, so first of all, if we just type in ski mask, okay? Um, and we go to the past five years, just so we get an idea of uh, what we're doing. Now you'll notice, right? It's supposed to be, you know, every winter there's snow, right? Why is ski mask not trending every single winter? And why is it only now picking up, right? Well, again, we, this is where you need to just experiment around with different search terms and whatnot. So we could just ski mask, we could just go straight to mask. Again, that's a little bit broad, but we'll see here that, okay, hey, um, you know, around every winter time, it sort of picks up. Again, it's, it's a little, um, it's, not, it's not exact just because it's such a broad term, like mask, that can mean anything. Um, we can even go down here to the search queries and see like ski mask, the slump, the slump god, um, you know, future exit. Like, there's a lot of stuff that's not related to an actual mask, like a skiing goggle mask, anything like that. So again, we change up our search term. We could even type in snow mask. Again, it snows. Snow could imply a lot of stuff. And now you'll see that we have uh, an easier like trend to kind of read, right? Where we can actually see, okay, every single winter it picks up, okay? Now that's what we kind of want to look for. So guys, you guys can go in and sell. You guys can make a website that purely just sells, you know, ski goggles, ski masks, snowboarding goggles, whatever you want to name it, um, and market it just towards that and brand it where it's its own unique little store. Because again, guys, I don't advocate for general stores at all. Uh, I don't like. I think they could have worked like in the past. I think now that you should not start, especially if you're a beginner, do not start a general store. Okay, you want to start very niche specific, right? You can dial in and just gain that traction in a specific niche. So again, you could literally start selling ski masks, ski goggles, okay guys? Again, we're moving into this winter. Um, again, I know like fall, whatever it is about to start, it's just starting. Um, but again, you need to prep for the long term, okay? So you can actually start building up. So again, because if, if you're on people's minds, right? Right when they start searching about it, like they'll start thinking of you, okay? If, you, if you're actually running ads, if you're doing stuff. Um, 
and that allows you to sort of like gain that authoritative figure again because you there's a lot of psychology involved um, but to gain that you know authority figure um, in that specific niche that people come to you for that product okay guys um, now the next one as well because this is this again I'm trying like I want you guys to be creative right so again when you think of Christmas when you think of winter people think snow and people you know they think okay snow masks ski goggles sleds right? you guys can sell sleds um, but what what you can also sell too right is taking like dog snow okay because snow dog what can we what can you know what, what can we sell right again, again it's just being creative again we're I want you guys to understand that we're trying to hop on the winter bandwagon, the Christmas bandwagon, and what comes along with it. So again, guys, like even for this one, 2,400 orders. Again, you could, you could brand this, guys, and sell it really well if, again, if, if you get the content, if you get the brand, if you do the marketing, if you set everything up yourself and make yourself look like you're not dropshipping, you make yourself look like an actual brand, you can sell dog shoes to a bunch of dog lovers that you know love taking care of their dog, and the snow's coming up, and they want to, I don't know, take goddamn, cute selfies with their dogs and run them through the snow. Whatever they're trying to do, right? You can brand that and sell it to those people, okay? And again, you're just hopping on that Christmas, that snow, that winter bandwagon and selling products related to that, okay guys? So again, it's not always about the specific product. Yes, some products are huge trends that you can cash out on, right? Like fidget spinners, for example, that was huge, okay? But until one of those like first starts to come along, right? Again, you can brand and sell most of these products that will automatically sort of pick up because of the current, you know, the season, the current holiday, whatever that is that starts to pick up, you guys can kind of jump onto that, okay? If that, if that makes sense. Now, next one I wanna talk about, right, is actually I have these opened up any, um, anyways just because um, I was browsing around, again, trying to vet products for you guys. But for example, right, just the way I preach things with content and branding and stuff like that, I was browsing through alarm clocks, okay? Because I don't have one myself. Um, and again, this is just a cube. It's super simple, it's super minimalistic, and with everything kind of going modern and whatnot, you could brand this very well, and someone can make a killing off of this product, okay? So we see it's for $6.29, $7.69. Again, if we vet the back end just to make sure, okay, look, they don't have e-packet, right? A lot of people, even from, from just finding this product, they'll, they'll give up and start looking for another one. But you guys, like, mul there, there's usually multiple sellers selling the same stuff on AliExpress. Because you guys have to understand, we as dropshippers, we act as middlemen, but there's always middlemen for every other thing too, okay? There's middlemen on AliExpress that are trying to be the middleman between us dropshippers and an actual supplier, okay? So again, there's usually other suppliers selling like the exact same product. So again, I just clicked on this one too. They're selling the same sort of cube, okay? And now look, we see it's a little bit more expensive. Um, we go to shipping, but we see, okay, look, they have e-packet. They don't have, you know, the, the standard AliExpress shipping, which is not something I would recommend um, using if you're gonna be, you know, starting a store um, around just one particular product, okay? So again, we source this product. Again, if you brand it, if you source it, again, it already has orders, okay? 1,186 orders. If you brand it properly, if you market it properly, you guys could probably just take over the industry for this entire product um, and start generating a lot of sales. Now, again, this isn't actually hopping on, you know, a Christmas bandwagon or a winter bandwagon. This is more of like, hey, I'm actually gonna brand this product, take this product, brand it, and build a community around it and market it because it just looks so good. Okay, there's some products where you can do that, where again, if the content is good, you can market it really, really well, okay? Now, the last one I wanna do, guys, is because if you guys don't know already, I got started in the fashion industry, and with that, again, like, I just enjoy fashion myself. Now, most fashion, or basically all fashion, right, comes out of Asia, okay? Right, so South Korea, like Korea, um, China, like Tokyo, all this stuff. That's where these fashion trends start, and they slowly emerge. Like they hit Europe, and usually in the United States, we usually get hit last. But that's good for us dropshippers, okay? Because especially dropshippers in the fashion industry, because we can hop on to these different fashion trends. Now, one trend I would highly recommend you guys to hop on is men's. So yeah, it's going to be hard to find data for this, right? This is just something that I'm telling you guys, like personally, as me doing my own research in the fashion industry, that I think this will be big um, in the near future. But again, so men's cardigan. If you look in the past five years. We see it relatively stay the same. Now, in terms of seeing a breakout trend, so like something new, so seeing you know a bunch of people wear you know men's cardigan, um, you know that's that's not enough, right? We need actual data. Now, what I'm trying to look for in this, in, in terms of this particular product, right, is to see the bottom line of the trend every year, and just trying to see if that bottom line grows. So if there's overall more user interest in, for example, this is just a men's cardigan, okay? So as we can see, like it, it there is. Right, and it's growing slowly, and I think this year, because even now, even now, 
it's it's already starting to pick up but that's again that that's basically because of winter but anyway, guys again you can sell these clothes in the winter because people search for this more in the winter okay but again i think the bottom line is also increasing okay i mean it's almost like it's almost like looking at stocks and whatnot um but we're trying to just see if the market itself if there's just a major like just more people in general than last year looking at it okay guys and then the nice thing is too guys when you're looking at google trends you don't want to only see hey is this product trendy every year because that's not going to guarantee you making money in an industry you want to see if the trend is slightly growing every year because then that means there's more people in the market there's newer people in the market which means there's newer sellers like you that can enter that market and make money okay guys so again this i mean just the men's cardigan industry it is showing that it has been growing um basically year by year um although there's not a drastic growth uh, i also noticed that the bottom line is also growing as well which just means overall like yearly throughout the year there's a little bit more interest um but yeah guys so that was just again i don't know how many products i think it was like eight or nine products potentially um that you guys can sell i actually also opened up this tab somewhere um Nope, never mind. Okay, no tab. Um, but yeah, guys, so I, I had, you know, I listed what, seven, eight products that you guys could literally start selling tomorrow um, if you wanted to. Now, again, some of you guys are going to take these exact products and make a killing off of them, but I also want you guys to understand just sort of the process, okay? Because that's what's going to make you su successful in the long run is the process that I'm using to actually try to find these products and just like throw your own little creative twist on it, guys. Like, oh, if someone is saying, okay, sell this, then you should be like, okay, I'm going to sell something in the same industry, but I'm going to sell this. And market it and brand it a little bit differently, but also hop onto that bandwagon, that that industry, that interest bandwagon, the holiday bandwagon, whatever it is that you can hop on and make sales from. Okay, guys, because again, there's some product that you can make money all year round. Okay, it's not going to be like insane, insane money, but you'll make good money all year round. Or you can hop on these crazy trends, cash out for those few months, um, and then you'll proceed to just trend hop. Okay, guys, um, there's a lot of ways you can do drop shipping. It's very versatile, and again, that's why I recommend drop shipping. Um, as, as the, the easiest form of e-commerce to get into. Okay, guys, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. Leave a like. Don't forget to comment or respond to everybody's comments. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Um, I know this wasn't like super lifestyle-y, but I wanted to sit down on the laptop and just give you guys pure like raw data um, that you guys can kind of base, you know, base your product selection off of and hopefully start to make money. Okay, guys, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace. Yeah.